I've got a mailbag to do. It's a nice big box here. Let's see what's in here. This is going to be interesting. All right, let's start with a small box because that makes sense. Three, six, nine, twelve. Right. So 12 sets of battery terminals. Now I've purchased these because I've got these projects I'm working on, these things. And I've already got battery holders in there, but I wasn't particularly happy with the fit. I mean, they're okay, they work. But I was a bit concerned about if they get jolted, it might dislodge the batteries. I mean, they'd be held in place, but they might not um, continue to hold. Maybe it's these. Here it is, it's these I can smell. Whew. Right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, the Chinese plastic factory didn't smell too good. Um, plastic still have a smell to them, but the um, s s I could smell a burn up. They're having a bit of a burn problem with their, one of their machines, I could smell it. <laughs> anyway, right, okay. So, as I was saying, so I've already got some other ones in these, which I think I'll show you this one. Here we go, got this type, which work okay. And I've actually lubricated these with some silicone grease to make them slide a bit better because they tend, they tend to sort of bind up inside the connectors, inside the housings here. And they actually push hard against the connectors at the end. And also the actual connections weren't domed enough so the 18650 battery top wouldn't touch it because it was actually slightly recessed and actually sticking at the end. So um, it just didn't work. Maybe a different kind of battery would be okay, but my one's just doesn't work. So I've actually put solder blobs on them to make them fit. So I'm not particularly happy with that particular design. And I saw these ones, I thought, well, these look interesting. They look like they'll do the job quite nicely. Individual battery, basically it's double battery holder, which is individual cells, which you then have to wire up yourself. Yeah, but that's okay, I don't mind wiring these up myself. I need to do like a uh, balanced circuitry anyway, so I need to link two together. They are top and tail, so positive and negative. So it will be in this case, there's plenty of link across. I need it actually meant for surface mount, I believe, so you can surface mount the things onto a PCB. But in my case, the reason I've got these is because they've got the mounting holes in the centre, in between the batteries, right? which means the battery's not trying to sit on top of a head of a screw or nuts or whatever. Now that's the problem I've got with these ones, is that the mounting is actually directly underneath the battery, in the middle, which isn't the best place. I mean, in this case, they're okay, because they're, I've used countersunk screws on these ones. But on this other unit here, on the first one I built, which is off screen, over there, that thing, that has a different bolt in it, and it's actually protruding slightly, it's in the way. So I'm just going to change that one to one of these. I think these will be better. How well they hold the battery though, I don't know whether they're going to be held in place securely enough or not, I'm not sure. I really don't know. But um, they should at least give a good connection. This one I'm planning on taking the batteries out of. This thing here. Let's get a spudger, because these are a bit awkward to get out. You can see the screw in the middle there. So this would pop in there like that. And let's see if we've got a connection. Yes, I'm back to front of the probes. Yep, that's working. So straight away, that's a better holder. They look like a better quality as well. So I think people have been buying the other ones, which I've featured previously, which is what's in here. Obviously, I thought they were right because I used them, but these are definitely better. Now, will these withstand a impact and hold the batteries in? Probably not. These would be better, I think, for that guard because they've got a bit more of a strap around the actual battery to hold it in place. I don't know if this will see that fall out. All right. Maybe it's different when you've got two batteries in there because it might sort of wedge against each other. Maybe. Because these do curve around on the sides. Alright, so they do curve around, you can see that. So maybe it'll be better I've got two batteries in there. But anyway, I'm going to swap this one out to one of these. So I think you can check the links out down below for these. And give us a like, you know, thumbs up and subscribe and click the bell icon, all that usual stuff too. It's kind of important you do all those things. Helps the channel out, helps you to make sure that um, you get to see my future videos as well. I'm sure you. Want to see my future videos, don't you? This one here already kind of open, but not completely. Pretty good packaging. 
So these are the um, KSGR T12 tips, JL O2s. This is what I already use on my iron, or it's one of the ones I already use on my iron. Okay, as you can see, these tips had a bit of use and it's looking a bit worse for wear. So I thought I'd get some new ones to uh, consider replacing it. So I thought I'd just get a couple. It's like my favourite tip, that one. It works quite well. And um, nothing too exciting. I mean, solely on tips, you can get them. Anyway, ready, but they'll be next for these, obviously. Thanks to my Patreons as well for supporting the channel, helping to buy items of our bag and bits of test gear. Test gear. And bits of test gear to fix as well. We're doing quite well in those Datron multimeters, which you would have seen recently. I've, uh, I've made some really good progress on those. Uh, one switch. Now this was LMA14 I think. Yes it is, LMA14. So I purchased a bunch of these before and they also didn't have enough stock. They were short by one. And I thought, oh, I'm just not going to get it. I won't get that switch. I'll just refund me that switch. But now they sent it out a couple of dollars or something. Or a dollar or something for that switch. And it's, I spent how much to send it to me. I would have preferred them just to cancel it really. Um, yeah. Oh well, at least I got the one I was waiting for. It took a while though, it was a couple of months ago. Anyway, never mind. You probably, if you saw it in my bag, you would have seen me commenting on it. But uh, anyway, it's here now. We'll get onto that big package in a minute and see what's in there. I think it's a review item. It's making some interesting noises. What is this? Okay. Ah, ta-da, EV blog, no bullshit packaging. So this is some pleasure from Dave, obviously, you know. Can I tear the end off? Actually, no, it's from Dave. I need to use my round knife, don't I? I've got it, it's from Dave. Okay. Little box and a bag. What did I buy? Micro current gold. I'm going to get those for a little while now. I I saw Dave posted the other day that he had the new stock. He had stock in of these now. I think he'd gone out of stock for a while. Anyway. He's uh, got some back in stock. So I thought, right, I'm getting one. I'm sure I'll find a use for it one day. In fact, I think there have been times when I wished I had something like this. Platypus design. Look, it's even got like a reflective stick on it. Look at that. Serial number sticker. Authentic. Is there problems with people copying them, does he? Hmm, anyway. I won't try that now. Guess it's supposed to go on top of the box. Put a battery in, put it in the box. I think Dave can't send the batteries because of international shipping. What's it got with bloody 9 volt battery cell? Uh, 9 volt, it's not even 9 volt, is it? 3 volt battery cell gonna do. Shipping regulations a bit stupid, really. I thought they'd change shot. There we go. So, yeah, it just screws in there. I'll give an example I've been trying to buy some little lithium backup batteries for my Datron multimeters, right? To replace the one which is missing. I tried RS and I tried Amendment 14 using the New Zealand based websites because I'm in New Zealand so I put I went to the New Zealand sites, ordered them through the New Zealand site, that is all fine. Both RS and Element 14 would not ship them to me because they're coming from overseas. So I can't actually buy a lithium backup battery. It's ridiculous. Do you know where I'm getting it from? China. I ordered them from bloody China. Right, rant over. Okay, back to this. So I still need to put a battery in this, which will be a CO232, I think. Yep, it says so right there on the board. And in focus. So, yep, yeah, I'll drop battery on that, and I'll... I've got some of those sitting here, I think. Original 5. So I'll put that on, put it in the box, and that'll do for now. Put it away somewhere until I use it. So my understanding about how this thing works is you have a device you're trying to test, and you connect it up through here, right? So this sensor's current. 
and then I'll put a voltage proportional to the current that's being passed through the device. So that way you can actually do really small measurements. So one millivolt per milliamp down to one millivolt per nanoamp. And because they're short as well, short one off. So what does the short do? Yep, the short just bypasses completely goes across those two terminals. So yeah, okay. Thanks, Dave. Brilliant. Well, let's get into this thing. It's pretty big. It's got a TFT colour screen, apparently. Aha, uh -huh, right. Now I know what this is. It's a weather station. And this is absolutely bucketing of rain right now. This is brilliant. Although, I could have probably put this up first. That'd be nice. Hmm. I should have opened this up earlier. Maybe a week ago when it arrived. Right. Um, so, yes. This is a review item from Banggood. I know it's a bit strange for me to doing a review on something which isn't strictly electronic related, but I thought it'd be interesting. Thank you much Banggood for sending this to me at no cost. Very much appreciated. So there'll be links for this down below. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and stuff as well. Don't forget, always forget to say that enough or subscribe too. Don't forget to do that. So let's have a quick look. I'll be doing a proper review video on this. Obviously this is just me. I'm just going to quick look at it right now, see what's actually turned up. But I'll do a review and I'll set it all up and that sort of stuff and get it going. For now, we'll look for a quick look at it. Wind speed, UV sensor, solar radiation, um, wind direction, bubble level, so you can make sure it's level, rain gauge, solar power. I think it's basically a solar panel on it, which is what it runs from, but you also have a backup battery running at it too, remember rightly. Outdoor temperature and humidity. It also has indoor temperature and humidity as well in the main box you put inside the house. Uh, minimum maximum range and stuff like that. Uses a measure calibration, apparently you can change it yourself and barometric pressure that's fairly comprehensive this is a new thing to me, I've not really done weather station stuff before so this is going to be interesting to see how I deal with this and can actually find it really new information for the manual, so there's a manual update channel data Put in certain multiple channels, because you can get accessories for this where you actually have multiple sensors and things like that so it's got those kinds of expandability functions. It tells you how to program it, I think. And calibrate it, okay. I'll tuck that into the manual. So there's the specifications, wasn't able to look at that. Hope it's not getting too washed out. Get rid of that. That looks like a pretty good manual actually. It looks pretty comprehensive. All in English. Whole thing's in English. So that's good. It's always your Wi-Fi. So here is the screen. Mounting hardware for a pole. I'm actually surprised there's no 20 foot pole inside here. It's not good enough. Oh, so I'm taking a piss. <laughs> I have some poles, I'll have to mount it myself, that's fine. So the wind speed arm, you have to attach it. A bit of dust in here from the cardboard packaging. It's recycled packaging. I'd rather have this than the polystyrene. There's a wind direction sensor, or the arm for it. There's a rain gauge arm, well mount. A power supply here for the indoor unit. One plug, but that's not a big deal. It's probably a standard voltage as I know. Five volt, one amp. And that is center positive, is it? I better check that. Yes, it is. Five volt, one amp, center positive. But it's a really small plug. It's, I don't know, what's that? 1.8 mil plug, is it? It's not a 2.1. So here's the two different arms. Just to make sure you mount the right sensors and the right arms, I suppose. There's a sensor here. So that panel's under here. Insert batteries in the battery compartment. Remove the sticker. Press reset button to start sensor operation. Okay, so it's doing the right sequence. There's the bubble for mounting it. And there's this rain gauge thing here. Obviously, it tips out. It fills up and tips out. So it does like a measured amount. And it enters itself. That's the battery compartment under there. I'm guessing because it says open. Somehow. There we go. So let's drop in there. So these are basically backup batteries. The main thing it runs off of solar. From what I could read anyway. It takes a couple of AAs. I recommend nickel. Batteries, I think. 2 by 1.5 volt battery. Should be fairly weatherproof, I imagine. It's all lipped, so I shouldn't, shouldn't run into it. This is the mounting piece here, somehow that goes together. I'm not sure exactly how yet. Because the bolts go through those slots there, one each side. So the pole goes up into here. And this like a hole. I don't know, is that humidity sensing in there, maybe? I don't know, there's some wires going to it. That'll be a good review, I reckon. Looking forward to getting this thing up and going, actually, have a player with it. 
make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe, click the bell icon, that kind of thing. Have a chat down below in the comments, I want to have a chat with you and hear your opinions, that sort of stuff. If you've got any experience with these things, certainly could use some advice. <laughs> I'm sure I'll do something wrong or something dumb. Thank you very much, Banger, for sending this to me as well, as I said. And um, I'll get to catch you all in the next video. And watch out for this review video when I figure it out and I get the time to do it. Catch you later. And I'll see you next one. Bye. Is it just me or does it look a bit like a Klingon bird of prey? Hmm.